I'm gonna be doing the uh, career mode from start to finish. I'm gonna show you all the bosses. And I'm gonna show you how to adjust the tune, your tune, so that it can run in any track length, quarter, half, or the mile. Now, if you've got the um, the Pro Tunes app, then you've probably already ran through all of these without not much of an issue. So, but if you are having any kind of issues because you're limited to um, by respect points or cash and you've only got a limited amount of cars in your garage I'm going to show you what you need to do to adjust the tune to adjust your car um, so that it can beat the uh, one mile bosses and stuff so let's start with the first car um, for the most part I'm going to be using the half mile um, pro tunes um, for the pro league cars but I'm not even going to bother with using a quarter mile tune because even the half mile tunes um, running the quarter will still be fast enough to beat these regular cars and most likely be fast enough to beat the um, the bosses. Now if I need to I'll tune the half mile car to run a one mile but I bet I can beat all the bosses at, um, just with a half mile tune. We'll, we'll see. Okay here's the boss and this is actually a good way to earn uh, money if you got guys got a car that can beat these bosses you do earn quite a bit of um, cash and respect points so it looks like this was a quarter mile race and I just smoked them Well, the level 1 um, RX-8 with the quarter mile um, tune beat all of them fairly easy. But I said I was going to show you how to adjust it. So, so let's let's adjust it for the half for the one mile because as you saw, I completed that. I I went through all my gears really fast. So let's go back and show you what it would take to adjust the tune. All right, well, because this is a second gear tune, my first and second gear and final drive kind of work together to um, create my launch. And if you guys haven't seen the uh, video to do that, you can check it out here in this annotation. It'll take you right to that video and it teaches you all about how to create that launch. So our third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and sixth gear is our those gears are our gears that we go through after NOS now what you want to do is you can basically well you can leave NOS alone because that's already set with it I mean the third gear we're gonna adjust gears four five and six we're gonna make them lower so that they don't finish the race I mean I don't go through all the gears quite so fast and how much you adjust this adjust it depends on your final drive ratio so the lower your final drive um, the higher your gears will be so, and you're gonna need to move your gears more to have an effect the lower the final the uh, higher the final drive the lower your gears would be the smaller your number so the smaller um, increments will have a bigger effect so you you see the difference and I'm using somewhat of a high, almost 5,000 front drive. So, you know, I shouldn't have to move them so much. On a car like, um, let's say, the um, the Hennessy Venom, and if you're using a really high uh, final drive and you're using a really um, small uh, gears, like your six gear would probably be maybe, I don't know, 600, 700, 800. I mean, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. You won't need to move much at all. But here, let's just move it mm, roughly about 200 or so. Just to start off and see how that goes. And then I'm going to adjust the 5th and 6th accordingly.
Now, let's just give that a test and see how it does on the mile. Now what you're aiming for is, this is a baseline and it's not about fine tuning. It's just a rough uh, kind of what you're aiming for. To fine tune it takes a little more work. But what we're kind of looking for is that your, as you finish the finish line, your last gear will pretty much hit the red line, the, the rev limiter. And that, that's pretty close to where you want to be at. If you want to fine tune it, you, kinda, you can go sooner or later. But we're just going to kind of see if we can hit that. Let's do the... So I hit the rev limiter a little bit early, but as you saw, before I can only go 124 miles an hour, now my max speed, top speed was 152. So if I lowered it a little bit more, um, let's say about... Let's take a look real quick. Probably if I lowered right about at about here, at about uh, 230 for because of the final drive. That's what that would probably as I'm crossing the finish line hit the red line. But as you saw, I beat that boss fairly easy, and vice versa. If I had a half mile tune and the quarter mile boss was pretty quick. And if I needed to adjust, tighten up my gears so that because it's a quarter mile race, I'm not using all my gears. I'm probably just barely getting into fifth or barely getting to, into sixth. Um, to get a quicker quarter mile from a half mile tune, you're going to have to utilize all your gears and try to finish them out as you uh finishing the race. So instead of lowering my gears, I'm going to raise them up so that uh, they finish sooner. So you guys can kind of see what I'm doing there. But that's basically how you would adjust your tune so that you can, you know, for any kind of track length. Don't mess with your, I mean, and this is for a second gear tune. So that's why I'm going from fourth, fifth, and sixth. I'm not touching third because that's already set with my NOS. Now if I was using a first gear tune, obviously I would be adjusting third on down because my second gear would be my NOS. But you guys get the idea, right?